All right, guys, finally the LEDs are installed on my panel. Shot a bunch of footage, pieced it all together for you. Take a look at this. Hope it clears everything up. And uh, if you have any questions still, shoot me a comment uh, or any questions down below. You know how this works. Check this out. All right, guys, so here we are under the layout. And I'm going to need to put some... Um, I'm going to be using one of the single pole double throw switches on the bottom of a couple of these turnouts uh, so that I can put a negative feed uh, going to, to, to that uh, single pole double throw switch so it can feed the LEDs that are going to go to the control panel that's going to sit right up here on top of this layout. Um, right here you can see I've got a uh, terminal block where uh, there's a line that comes in that goes back to um, my uh, DC power supply over there in the corner. So I've got DC power coming under the layout, and that is 12 volts. Um, and then you can see here I've got one line that's going that's feeding my, uh, my switch 8. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of... Um, a bunch of these cat five cables that I have they're real thin I believe they're either 22 or 24 uh, gauge wires um, I need six wires in total and these come in pairs so I've got three pairs here six wires total what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip the ends of these on one side and I'm gonna bundle them all together and I'm gonna stick them in one slot here on the negative and then on the other end uh, of these wires on the other end I'm going to separate these and these are actually going to go to um, these tortoises here you can see I've got them labeled uh, this one's 302 202 102 301 uh, we're going to skip that one because that's part of the crossover for over there uh, we're going to need to do 101 and then 201. So again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and those, are the, the, those are the crossovers, the four crossovers and the two single um, turnouts that I have. So let me go ahead and um, I'll get the, the wires put up in there and I'll, I'll snap back and show you those and then I'll show you how I'm going to uh, attach them to those. Okay, so here we are, all six of those wires going into a uh, fork terminal connector there. Uh, got them strung over into a couple of um, uh, wire holder thingies. And uh, so now all I got to do is separate these wires out. And then... Um, I've got to take one, just one of these wires, and I'll put one here, and then I'll put the other one here. And according to Tortoise's little diagram here, I can either use pin four or pin five. So those little wires are going to get soldered to pin four or pin five. Uh, let me determine which ones I can get to. And uh, I'll get that done and I'll get back to you. All right, so I got that negative feed. We're over here. Uh, I've got these soldered up. These two were such a pain in the butt to get to. Um, you can't see them very well. That one you, you can't almost get to at all. Uh, and in order to solder the rest of those, I literally had to clean off the deck and lay down to get under there with a soldering iron and I actually broke the leg of my other uh, panel in the process so now I've got that gluing back up uh, funny thing in order to get soldered up there the wire up there I actually had to use my mirror so I could see uh, the tortoise 
in the mirror so I knew which pin that I was soldering to. So um, I've got all those soldered up. You can see there's one wire coming out of there, one going there, and then over here I've got another wire that's split, one wire there, one wire there, and then I took another one over here and I did, um, oh, I did these these two back here because they were closer. So I got one there and then there's one going in there. So now all I have to do is I've got these wires here. I already drilled my hole and I dropped down all my wires. So all of these wires on the end of this cat 5 here, all these that I stripped out, um, all of these uh, need to go in pairs to those terminals on the tortoises. So that's where the negative feed comes in. So it's going to go from there to the tortoise, and then the tortoise is going to determine which uh, line it's going to go down, which wire it'll go down, and then that will come all the way back to the panel, and from the panel it will determine uh, which LED uh, will light. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to work on putting some legs uh, on this thing so I can actually get it to stand something like that so I can actually use it. So let me work on that and uh, at least I'll get one step further. Alright, so a little <laughs> small snag in the process. So apparently when I was building this thing and I was putting all these wires together I didn't really leave myself enough room to attach any legs to. So, uh, like I did with the other the other table, I just put a couple triangles on there and glued them on the bottom because I had room. Well, this panel is significantly smaller, and it's late at night, and I didn't feel like um, getting out my uh, power tools to... Uh, cut anything so I got a handsaw I found this piece of wood I just cut off a small piece made a 45 degree angle out of it that's going to justify my feet but now to put them together <clears throat> I pulled out a new toy um, I got some uh, some chisels a little while ago I found a good price at Harbor Freight and so I just sat here and I chiseled out a rabbit joint. I believe that's what that's called. And that gives me just enough room for this thing to sit on top of that rabbit. And I'll glue that in place. And then I'll get my pin nailer and I'll put a couple pins in there. And that should hold that up. I did the same thing with the other side. So, new tool, new technique. <laughs> Never done that before, but uh, yeah, chisels are cool to play with. So here is the panel. I got the legs put on the side. I just uh, I glued it and I pin nailed it so that that's all stuck together as one piece. I can still get under it and lift it, um, although the wire is coming from underneath. Uh, prohibit that a little bit so I don't think that's going to be moving anytime soon all right last step so if you guys remember a while back I had made up a uh, set of um, DC plugs I was testing something what was I testing oh the um, switch 8 and the tortoise that's right so what I did here the back of the panel I put a um, a red cable going to uh, the, the, the two rails that are there um, and then they go into a switch and then that switch goes down under the table and goes back into the same uh, DC power supply my DC bus that's under the table so I should be able to take all of these cables these are these are what are hooked up to the LEDs um, underneath that panel and if I take this same black plug 
just the negative because remember their positive is already hooked up to the same spot. If I run this across some of these cables we should get some Christmas lights over here. There we go. So now all I need to do is stretch these out and figure out I'm going to tape off, use some, some masking tape, some painters tape and find out which ones go to uh, which turnout and then mark that and then this way when I get under there I can simply know that this is 302, this is 301 and so forth and so on. So let me get all those marked out and I'll be back. All right, now that I got all my wires tagged out, I know which pairs belong to which LEDs. Uh, before I go solder in these, I just want to double check that each individual light does light its own color. Uh, remember, these are dual LEDs, so they are both red and green. Uh, so I'm going to start here. The first one in my hand is 301, which should be this one here. And we're only using the black. So we get a green, we get a red. Okay, bulb is still good. This should be 302. Green, red, awesome. This one here is 201. That should be this one. Red and green, awesome. And this one here is 202. Green red all right and this one is 102 green red and last but not least 101 green and red yes okay so now here comes the hard part i've got to get under the table and solder all these wires to those pads under there uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that all of the turnouts are straight. And then I'm going to test uh, one wire, on, uh, soldering it to the turnout. And I should get a green light. If I do, then I know I've got the right wire hooked up to the right pad. Uh, if not, I'll have to reverse the pads and then, then I can do both. Um, so there's no sense in soldering both if I have to unsolder them and then resolder them both. So I'm going to try one at a time and see if the light corresponds. I'm not going to take you through that because there are thousands of videos out there of how to solder and how to solder a tortoise. Um, so just know that that's happening and I'll be right back. All right, of course I've already tested this so you know if I'm starting this video... All right, here we go. Turning lights on. We are all green. That means all my track up there has they all the turnouts are straight. Uh, so what I'll do now is we'll flip all of them one by one. And now you can see each corresponding track is now on a diverging route. And I verified over there with the actual switches that everything now is diverting. And you remember that red button in the middle? All green, baby. All right, well, there you go. So, panel complete. We got all of our lights onto our tortoise switches and they all use the uh, single pole double throw switch that's on those tortoises to control whether the lights are red and green. Uh, I've also got all of the wires from the buttons wired up through the framework down to the bottom to the mini panel and that's what's controlling the actual uh, tortoises doing their switch back and forth. So finally, panel complete after I don't know how many videos and how much time of yours and mine that I've wasted. But I'm hoping that one of you guys 
saw this video or this series and learned something or maybe had some questions that I can answer. Either way, there it is. It's on the internet. It's on YouTube. Case closed. I don't have any more panels to build. This one was a pain in the butt. Um, just because of the location of where the switches were, uh, getting to some of those tortoises was literally a pain in the back. Um, so, all done. All right, rail riders, as always, let's ride these rails together. See ya.